Hi guys. Well, I should say good morning as I'm drinking my coffee. And you know when I drink my coffee, what time it is? It is time to see what's going on in these Huntsville streets. Yes, it is. And also, you know it's morning time. I have on my pajamas. Let me shut that so you can see them a little. My, uh, this is Eddie Barrow. My Eddie Barrow pajamas. And I do want you to know I'm always wearing my Eddie socks. Because, you know, I'm just that kind of girl. Yes, I am. This morning, I'm guilty. I just woke up looking like this. You know what I mean? But let me put my disclaimers out there first. And let me just move this over. Okay. Uh, let me put my disclaimers out there first. Everything is alleged. Everything is alleged. This is my opinion, my opinion only. And this video that I'm making is for educational and entertainment uh, purposes only as well. So remember, everything is alleged. Okay, guys? Okay, let's talk about what's going on. You know, uh, tonight it comes on. Today is Saturday. You know what that means? That means all oh, love and honey comes on. Oh, yeah. By the way, I did go get my nails done, guys. See? That white. White, white, white. You know, I did. I could not take it no more. I could not take it no more. I was trying to let these, after one popped off, and then another one popped off, and I saw what was, how my nails were under, they needed a rest. So I tried to do two weeks of rest. I think I went one to maybe two or three weeks of rest in my nails with nothing on it. And I was trying to just put a little polish on myself in white, it didn't work. I cannot do that. But when your nails need to rest, they need to rest, okay? So, but I did go get them done. Oh gosh, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh gosh. But at least it didn't hurt nobody but not having my nails done. Like somebody else, do they do everything to hurt people? You know? You know what I mean? You know what I mean. But anyway, let me just say this that. Where I'm gonna uh, take my seat for this one. Uh, okay, let me see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull my chair up so I can be closer um, by my coffee. Okay, but yes, I'm in, I'm in my my husband's office. Like always, let the wheels spin. Yes, that means when I woke up, he was not here. I'm not sure. Well, that's all the time. I'm not sure where he's at. He could be out fishing, could be hanging out at his favorite store, Home Depot or Lowe's, uh, uh, or, he, or he could be out um, enjoying a, um, a meal he loved. I don't know why he loved McDonald's breakfast. Mm -hmm. But then he'll still come back and fix me breakfast because he know I don't get up like him. You know, yeah, I do not get up like that. Okay, so I'm going to put my feet up in the chair like I always do. So I'm going to have to talk to that husband of mine. Yes, I am. Okay, but let's get started. Okay. You know, tomorrow, tonight will be, uh, Episode number three. They're counting. 
is season six, episode number three. So they're counting tonight as episode number three. Okay. And ooh, okay. Let me tell you something before I go into episode number three. Well, I'll tell you, we'll talk about that later. Let me just give you, give you a little snippet uh, of episode number three, what's going to happen, and just a few little snippets of it. Man, I really need to talk to you about something. Oh, um, When I say I really need to talk to you about something, you know I need to talk to you about something. About mm, be positive. Be very positive. In the morning time, if you hear my voice echoing, it's because I'm in the uh, my husband's office. We have we have hard floors, you know, wooden floors, and then high ceilings, and the room is big, so it bounces off. Uh, so if you hear my voice echoing or whatever, it's because of the high ceilings. So don't come back with, to me talking about uh, you know, you got, and I got a microphone here. Yes, I do. I just don't have it pinned on me. I just got it sitting over here. Okay, so don't come back to me. I, I'll tell y'all I don't want to hear. Okay, I really do. I don't want to hear. Okay, so uh, I think episode number three day uh, is called "Yup, You Have Scots. Y'all got Scots to, to chill. Y'all got Scots chill. I guess they're talking about the hips, thighs, and butt guys. The feminine hips, thighs, and butts. The Scott brothers, they need to chill, which they do. They do need to chill because they, they want to talk about everybody else's life but their own. They know theirs is uh, all messed up and all that cookery and steaming going on. That man ain't got a bit more uh, of a Customer coming in there talking about some fixing their credit. Man, you need to learn it. If you need to fix somebody's credit, you need to fix Montel's credit because his credit is shot to hell. Just my opinion. And just allegedly. Well, you need to fix some, some of your family members' credit. And I never see a customer walk up in there. I never hear y'all talking about a customer, no more than Destiny when she walked up in there on food stamps and welfare and perpetrating a fraud. That's just my opinion, my opinion only. And you know, it's just allegedly, but that's what I thought I saw on TV. Yeah, yeah, when she came up in there, mm-hmm. Talking about she ain't got no money and she don't know how she's gonna pay a bill. And then squatting in the house, the man trying to put her out, the husband trying to put her out so he can sell the house. So you need to go somewhere else, girl. And I will take our son because he can provide for him. He has a good job. You need to go find a good job or a job, period. <laughs> yeah, take care of yourself. Okay? With your nasty attitude. But I, this morning, I'm not going to talk too roughly or rudely, okay, about certain people. I'm going to be very nice. All right, I'm going to do my best. I will do my best. Okay, let me see. Can I find Huntsville on the floor? Right here. Huntsville on the floor. Where are you? Oh, there you are right there. Right there. Okay. I found Huntsville on the floor, guys. Huntsville is on the floor. Okay. But anyway, they got my chair. Okay, but anyway, let me just give you a little snippets of what's going to happen tonight. Remember, Love and Marriage comes on on Saturday, Saturday night. So, uh, that's, today is the 22nd, okay? So you're going to be watching episode uh, number three. So they just, just starting off and already Martel is messing up and, and trying to be controlling and trying to be stalkerish. Is that a word, stalkerish? You know, when you stalk somebody, stalkerish. You know, I try to make up these new words. I need to be put in the book of Guinness World's, World's Record. Stalkerish. Maybe I've already been said. I don't know. I don't know. 
I guess I'm not going to get that record deal because uh, I can't sing. Oh my God. I guess I just have to stay a housewife. Okay. I can do that easily. And nothing about wrong about being a housewife. That's a life a luxury when you're a housewife. And you, don't, you don't have to do a thing. My husband never wanted me to cook. Because he said I can't cook, which was true. My husband said I didn't have to clean up. He hired somebody to do it. That's true. He never thought me working was a good idea. Because he always told me that's a waste of his time. That's true. Well, no, no, not that me working is a waste of his time, but he did say that. <laughs> Clarify. I never understood what that, how am I wasting his time if I go want to work? I never understood that. He told me that in the early days. And every time I tried to work, he would. I always have something to say about it. You don't need to work what you want to work for. No, he doesn't talk like that, but I just stay in my lane, stay in my lane. If you see it going in and out, that's because of the, uh, it's overcast out here today and it goes in and out. I don't know more about it. Um, because I am going to try to go outside if it warms up a little, okay? And do uh, some video taping outside. But let's get back to the mouth at hand. I told you I can't sing. So I don't know whether I'm going to get a record deal. I may need to talk to my husband and tell him he needs to buy me a, a record company. Oh, or I'll be the selling partner while I. He need to pay for me a record deal. I don't know how you do that. You need to do that. But then that'll be me working, wasting his time. Oh yeah. Like he told me, don't do YouTube. Don't let it become a habit. Remember, I posted those all over the house. Next time I come, I do a uh, thing out uh, shorty. He said, YouTube, don't let it become a habit. It's like a waste of his time and my time too. But I'm still doing it. <laughs> that means say what you want to say. You know I don't listen. But I don't care. Oh yes I do. Okay now let's get to the matter at hand. Just the um uh, it starts off with uh uh, episode number three is going to start off with uh, Luke's teaching. You know how she invited her cousin to sit with her Kiki uh, at this box match, uh, box ring so they can box? If I was Kiki, I would knock her in the face. Just do this. Just roll it up like this here. Or do this here. Okay? Yeah. I would knock her butt out. Let her say something slick under her tongue. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, that was a, that was just, uh, my muscle, uh, that was a reflex. I don't know what happened. Oh, you, you know, this bleeding? Oh, you turned my face. I did knock the witch out. Oh, yeah, I knocked the witch out. Yes. But, mm, that would have been a nice scene. That would have been a good scene. Okay. But anyway, let's start off about him talking about that. Again, that's because that's where it left off last week, last Saturday. And so, in Tisha talking about telling Kiki, um, what if I spoke on your marriage? That's uh, Leticia telling uh, Kiki. What if I spoke on, you know how she talked? She talked, oh, so, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Is it? I don't know. Because her mama talks like that. Show me. She heard the way her mom talks, so that's how she talks. I don't know. Talks. I don't know. 
But anyway, I can't repeat it. I can't do it. It just, I'm just going to just say, you know how woman talks, that's how she talks, okay? But anyway, um, but anyway, she told me, what if I spoke up on your marriage? He looked at her like, I know you won't. Because Kiki trying to tell her, it's all started from you and your husband, Marcel, Marcel, whatever his name is. It all started from you all. You all spoke on something that was not your business, something that you shouldn't have been speaking on in the first place, telling somebody. Now, so me paying that favor back, letting you know, yeah, Mar he got a lot of women. And I heard, yeah, he do sleep around. Yes, and this and that. That's, she didn't say it. But that's, you know, I've been told the girl, that's my saying this. No, this is just uh, what I think, um, my opinion, you know what I mean? But anyway, and um, and then here go uh, Leticia. I don't know whether I can let you back into my mind because what if you hurt me again, do the same thing? Girl, you heard it her first. You did it to her first. She just paid back the favor. So then you, then she pay you back and y'all just keep going at it or just squash this because you are not perfect, Leticia. If you were, you wouldn't be trying to imitate Melanie, copy everything, everything lately. Uh, you've been copying everything. Oh yeah, guys, she's been copying everything that Melanie's been doing from the way she uh, runs her business to the way uh, she does everything, everything. I mean, everything. She and Coleslaw, for some reason, got this obsession with Melanie. They want to be Melanie. They want to have all the fan base and all the viewers and everybody, all the people liking them too. They don't understand why everybody likes Melanie, why she has the millimeters. Because Melanie knows when to be herself. She's herself. She was raised by a wonderful mother, a mother that knew what she was doing. One on the other hand, she was just flying by the seat of her pants trying to raise you. She didn't know what the heck she was doing. Okay? But Melanie is like her mother. Her mother is gracefully, respectfully, She's caring and she's an awesome mother and educated. So that's Melanie. Just because she got some degrees too, Melanie got great degrees, girl. And they trying to set you up. And I don't like the fact that what Carlos King is doing, he's trying to set you up to look to be another Melanie. Here he's setting you up to look like a fool because that interview you and him did together, you look like a fool, regurgitating out of your mouth everything that, that Melanie said, trying to repeat everything, everything. You must start that interview all during the day, all during the night, all during the week when you knew you was going to be doing an interview with him. You are not Melanie. We can see that. You look nothing like her. You do not speak like her. Okay? We can see Melanie when she walks in a room, all eyes. And it's turn. You walk into the room, everybody's still drinking coffee and, and eating a breakfast meal or, 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 or snacking on some chicken or something. You don't turn heads. They don't even give you a second thought. When you look, walk into the room, we don't see legs coming first. Melanie got those long legs. We see all the long, beautiful, graceful legs coming first. We don't see no legs coming first. We see the same thing just like your husband, hips, butt, and thighs. Well, did I say that about your husband again? Yeah, it's kind of the way I feel, okay? And a lot of other people. I don't know where they got those hips, butt, and thighs from. All of them got them, them hips, butt, and thighs. Hmm, hmm, hmm. When do I need some but? For some hips. No, no. Because if I want something, I can buy it. 
I didn't think so. Okay. I like, I just like being the way I am. Size zero, zero, zero. Yeah. And that's just me and I'm extra small on top. I just like that in me. Okay. Now, but I just didn't, I couldn't stomach the rest of that interview. I did try to watch that interview with you and Carlos. And the way he is kicking, trying to make you feel that interview was a hot mess. And don't let nobody fool you. It was a hot mess. A hot, hot mess. Okay. I don't know who told you it wasn't, but it was a hot mess. And I got to move on because my coffee can't get cold. Okay. That interview, you tried to portray yourself as Melanie. You tried to speak like Melanie. You try to uh, pretend like you do what she, Melanie did. If she, you called Melanie, oh, you got such a cold uh, heart, a black heart that you said. If she got such a black heart, why are you trying to portray yourself like her? Why are you trying to be like her? Why? Help that make sense for me. Y'all help that make sense. Put that in the comments. Why? The question is, why is Kiki, not Kiki, why is La, Leticia, Leticia, I'm saying the, the family of hips, butt, and thighs, because her husband got hips, butt, and thighs, and so do she. So why do, why is she trying to act and pretend to be Melanie, want to be like Melanie, want to be known like Melanie? Girl, you ain't Melanie, and you would never be her. We can see all this fakeness coming out of you because you can't even keep it straight. You can't even make it look good. You should have went to acting school before that uh, interview. So you can try to act it out or something because that was a hot mess. And don't let nobody tell you that interview was good and you did a great job. He just made you look like a fool and got people even talking about you even more. Okay, so I'm, I'm through with you. I'm going to leave you alone. You and your messed up crooky. Crooky, 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 crooky. Oh, yeah. Before I leave you alone. Yeah. You met up with Kimmy and had to tell Kimmy that Martel, not Martel, oh, Lord, I got to save you for that. But your husband, hip, butt, and thighs, have hired a new partner, got a new partner. And he and took over your desk, girl, and got his, his degree or whatever hanging on the wall. He's hanging stuff on the wall. Yes. Go figure. Your husband, I guess he don't respect you enough. I guess he doesn't ex respect your your knowledge that he you, you, you say you bring into the table. I guess talking about a million dollar company. Here y'all ain't got no done million dollar company. You got a million dollar company. Why are you look at living in a shack? That's that's what I call a shack. Why are you living in a shack? And why are you trying to fix up another, move from one apartment over to a shack? Girl, get out of here. Okay? Tell that to somebody else. I know money when I see it, and y'all definitely ain't got no money. You trying to perpetrate a fraud. Just my opinion, my opinion on you. Okay? Stop perpetrating. Okay? Stop perpetrating the fraud, but you was telling Kimmy that, and you know, Kimmy like, look, what? Yeah, He's, he he wants you to get back to where you, back to the house, get back to the house, and know your place. Start cooking and taking care of those kids. Oh my God. Mm -hmm -hmm. Now let me tell you. Then then I'm getting ready to get to my table. But let me just say this: all all the women went to a spa day or something. They all had on these same color robes, pink or red, whatever you want to call the color. Um, but anyway, uh, Big Blue's wife, Tiffany, girl, everybody she loved to run her mouth through, and like she know everything. She acting like uh, Rocky's wife. I know everything, but I know. But anyway, she's pregnant, so she feels she can say whatever she wants to say now. And nobody can come at her because she's pregnant. 
Uh, yeah, right. You don't come at a pregnant woman, but she needs to learn her place when the, when the start mess that you can't finish. Somebody already tried that. to start. You want to start a war, and then you got to make sure you're able to finish that war. Because if not, Melanie will finish it for you, baby. But anyway, they got the um, Tiffany got uh, told uh, Melanie that I know that um, that um, Kiki is your friend and everything. But then when they all get together, here she goes to Kiki, starting out with Kiki. I guess she decided to back off her because she knows that's Melanie's friend. But here she goes uh, to Kiki that. Why don't you, you claim Melanie as your friend, but you don't claim, claim um, Tisha as your cousin? Here, here we go again with the mess. She's trying to stir up some mess. Ooh, that is really changing colors outside, dog. Okay, she's trying to stir up some mess, okay? And the mess is, you trying to pick a fight. You trying to get people wired up, knowing they can't come at you because you're crazy. So you need to stay in your lane. Okay? She go opening up her mouth and then don't know when to be quiet. Yeah. But they don't know when to be quiet and everything. Here, she needs to uh, come on. Okay, but let me get the last thing I want to say because I don't want to keep this long because my coffee is getting, really getting cold. But and then Tiffany had the nerve to say, I, I always know what I'm talking about. Heifer, 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 heifer. Okay, I like you, but you, you, you going, don't come, don't, don't, don't start now. And then trying to bring Melanie in this stuff because. The melometers will come at you. You don't know that though, do you? But they will. They don't come at you when you're messing with somebody else. They can care less. You don't mess with Melanie. Come bringing her up. I know that's your friend. You better lay low, girl, until you have this baby. Now, let me tell you something that, um, that went on. I don't need that. Montel did an interview recently. We thought he was all in hiding. You know, missing in action. If you watch one of my videos, the one I put out yesterday, Martel and Baby Mama Coleslaw, missing in action. She, I guess he don't want her to be out because she gets the talking on social media. And shut her down. He got her missing in action too. But anyway, or got her quiet, staying off social me media while he stay, stay low on the down low because he can't afford court. He can't afford those attorney's fees. He already told us. His uh messy money that that uh the man charging him uh ten thousand dollars for twenty days. Everything is twenty with Martel. You go you give him a number, he's gonna say twenty. You ask him how much something costs twenty. What street did you live on? Twenty. How old are you? Twenty. How many kids you got? Twenty. Oh my God, everything, when you say that 20, you know he's lying. He lied between that too. But anyway, he did an interview uh, recently. I saw it this morning. Uh, that's the first thing when I woke up, I saw this morning. He did an interview and he was talking about how he loved to be married. He wants to be married again. He had such a wonderful thing going. He, he knew that uh, he, he wanted to grow with somebody. He, he knew he can count on somebody. He, he, uh, they had lot things. They, they worked together and this and that. He, he was just bragging about the life he had with Melvin. Yes, he was. Ooh, Lord. And just looking just as pitiful. Like, you begging this one. I'm going to stand up because I'm getting ready to close anyway. You just begging this woman to take me back. See, that woman ain't taking you back in what world? My child's world? I don't think so. She ain't taking you back, all right? Y'all need to see that interview. There's one.
Because that's the first thing I saw this morning. And he went, doo -doo -doo. there it goes. But anyway, he's just talking about how, how he loved being married. Uh, how he loved having somebody that's there for him. They got his back. Uh, that they both uh, shared building a business together, doing things together, and this and that. And he loved his family life. Man, you need to write a, write a record. You need to write a, a song about this. This needs to be a hit record or something. Because you ain't getting none of that back. Melina ain't coming your way. And she ain't checking for you. Okay, the coffee is called, so it's time for me to be doing it. She ain't checking for you. No matter how many times you say it, she ain't coming back. She's done. So you can go find somebody else. You never found Melanie. You messed that up yourself. Because you couldn't keep your thing in your house. You had to take it out during the pandemic and, and throw it around to everybody that, that, that had something to put it in. You don't want to mess that up. Because she never thought she'd leave you. Bullery is on your side today. Now you see what Nell, Fletcher, Chris' wife, Chris and his wife tried to tell you. Especially his wife. She really tried to tell you. Everybody tried to tell you. Melanie tried to tell you. They keep your thing in the house and she gave you so many chances. And you still felt them. You thought you even told the psychiatrist that she was a pleasant. Melody let you go so you could be with that one, and you refused to marry her. Sheree, they even asked you about Sheree. Will you marry her? She's the one. <laughs> no. And you say, God said you, to go. You know where to go because she ain't the one. She's just a storyline. So she's fool, foolish for fooling enough, fooling with your trickery. This woman tore up your marriage. Everything. Had got pregnant by you three times and had one child for you. And you still don't want to marry her. And she do everything she can to please you. She she do everything. You say she pleases you like nobody else. But you don't want to marry her. Because you said she was nothing but a person. A side chick. She only 50%, 15%. And you, and she should be ashamed of herself to even pull her head up on social media because she looking like a fool because you're prancing around with Sheree and, and she's, you be, won't be caught dead seen with her. You'll knock on her door in the middle of the night. But I'm through with this here. Okay, guys. Don't leave me if, you, if you did not hit the uh, subscribe button in the big penny, go ahead and hit it now. If you did not hit it in the middle, go ahead and hit it now. And if you want it, just hit it now. Just hit it. it don't call you now. Just hit the button. Keep supporting your channel. I love all the people that have supported me. And I thank you for it. Okay? So hit the like and subscribe button and leave your comment on that. Trying to make sense of this Leticia trying to be male. But male got a cold black heart. How do you want to be like somebody with a black heart? You trying to imitate her. And you got a black heart? Okay. And tell me what you think of this, uh, this interview Montel did recently. Think about his whole life. That's all he can think about. His whole life. The way he had it. He had so good. How can we mess it up? I'm so sorry. Oh, Lord. You messed it up. Okay, guys. Thank you. And I'll talk to you later. And give me more tea. I need some tea. And don't forget to watch the episode tonight. And if you cannot watch it tonight, don't, don't, don't worry about it. I got you covered. And if you uh, find out anything else on any other country, you know how to contact me. You can see. Uh, my information is on my channel. If you can use me, I'd be happy to it. Okay? And if you, I uh, want my phone number, so you can tell the page straight up. Just, just say, see. You put the phone, phone in the phone today. And you can get it. Okay? Thank you, guys. Alright?
You like to live by life. And everything is a lecture. And this interview is made for educational and entertainment purposes only. And it's my opinion and my opinion. Bye-bye.